Hello everyone, Michelangelo here, and today I'm bringing you another demo. The game is Distant Kingdoms, and you can get it on Steam during the Steam Game Festival. The festival runs February 3rd through February 9th. Now, here's what Steam has to say about the game. It's a unique blend of city building, social management, exploration, and adventure gameplay. Distant Kingdom brings rich fantasy world to life. Help the humans, dwarves, elves, and orcs of Talam uh, begin anew in the fabled land of Inaran. So, I did play a little bit of this. And uh, just to get a little bit of a feel. Uh, but I only played maybe 20 minutes of it beforehand. So hopefully the low time isn't so long here. Now normally city building games, it's not something I play tons of on my channel. But I do like city builders. I do. I just don't play too many of them. I don't know how fun it is for people to watch them. So that's why I don't really play them as often. Alright, so we're just gonna wait. All right, that took a little while. All right, so right now we're basically just playing the tutorial. So the demo will come to an end once you've met the requirements for the citizens tech node or reach five mid density houses. So here we go. Distant, uh, welcome to distant kingdoms, the land of Inaran. The survivors of Talim Cataclysm uh, fervently await your guidance to help survive and thrive. New home. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we got Crescents. I like to get your money. Uh, mana. I have not... What I played, I've never done anything with the mana. I don't, maybe it's not even the game yet. Happiness. For your people's happiness and the amount of people you have. Uh, down below, speed. I uh, got transportation, construction. World Overview, Demolition, Quarter, City Overview, Overview, Technology Tree, and Lenses. I haven't tried lenses. Settlement. Settlements filled with people who have escaped from Talim. And they'll start their new lives. Clicking on the settlement will open the City Overview menu. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. There it is, the overview. Happiness, immigration rate, residents, expenditures, income tax, net income treasury. Okay. You can rotate this place, so we got to put in a small warehouse. Uh, you know what? I want it right here. Look at those trees. I didn't even pay attention to where it's at. Where the road is. Every every with houses, I think, or buildings have little roads to them. So did I mess this one up? Yeah, the road's right here. Not really messed up, but okay. The inspector form, okay, containing important information. Stockpile limits. You can have up to five thousand. There's efficiency, so you can upgrade, uh, if I remember right, and current employees. Storage selection. What do you have stored in here? So right now we got wood and berries. Uh, multiple jobs. Yep. Got people working there. This is the maintenance. So this is what it costs you to have the building. Uh, fire is it, fire, illness, and crime can affect the buildings. So that's where these are rated at. Management tab. You can select what you want stored in here. So, assuming if you want to have certain storage for certain places, you can just store what you want. For the demo, I, I'm most likely not going to fill this up at all. 
Okay, marketplace is good for building residents. Get goods. Houses there should be built close by. Build a small marketplace. Now, I did. Right there. I did build it. You want me to build another one? Oh, I've built the warehouse. Never mind. The marketplace. Derp. Uh, let's see. We'll live up here. We'll do the marketplace. I'm going to rotate it. I think right here. Yeah, that'll be good. I like that. Go away for this get build. I like how you can see it raising up. Get the little fire going in the balloon, too. See it here. Alright, marketplaces. Transportation menu open now. So we gotta select roads. We gotta add some roads. We got some roads. And I gotta build some houses. So we're gonna build houses in this area. I think. Should we? Yeah, we'll build houses here, I think. So, build some roads out. I think that'll work. Get a few houses in here. This guy's gonna live right next to it. Oops. Now you can hold shift and it'll keep it up. Like this. Boom. Uh, let's get a little bit more road going here. Oh, can't can't loop it. All right. Okay, let's go a little bit further out. And we need one more house. I think that'll work. Road. Road. There we go. So we got our houses going. Beautiful little houses. Be about done. I got 91 Crescent. My people are they're content. This one should be about done, right? I have roads going to it. Or is somebody waiting to come out here still? Maybe that's what this person's doing. What are you doing? Right, new settled residents will pay crescents towards uh, taxes. Cost allowing you to spend. Okay. Oh, click on the house. All right. Okay, happiness of the household. Sure. Basic needs: food. They'll want bread and water. Everyone is unique, different races, and different affluences will have different needs. Whether they're required goods or buildings. Alright. Unable to upgrade affluence, have reached the highest. Upgrade density, you can upgrade the building or downgrade it. Okay. Marketplace. Nearby houses, click on the corresponding marketplace. There's a little reminder that you can hover the cursor on almost everything and helpful tool tip. Okay. Small warehouses contain uh, starting goods. And they'll help you and the residents be happy. All right. Yep, let's zoom out. Let's keep playing. 
Producing goods. We need to unlock in the tech tree. So let's go to the tech tree. Working resources, set focus. So now here's where we're gonna have these little uh, quests like we gotta do. Uh, well, let's get rid of these because these are completed. So I need to increase the population to 10. So I need two more houses. Easy peasy. So I think we should just need to build one more house. Rotate. Oops. Should be good. Everything is connected. Wonder if these guys are carrying it for the houses. Looks pretty heavy, dude. Looks pretty heavy. Yeah, these guys are gonna go over fix the house. Or build it, I should say. Eh, speed it up a little bit. Alright. Oh. Alright, so we go to the tech tree again, and then we'll unlock it. And then we got a lumber yard, a well, gatherer's hut. The well, of course, water, gatherer's hut, berries, lumber yard for wood. All makes sense. Let's make. We do farming? Let's do farming. We'll uh, set farming next. So that's what we'll work towards. We gotta build a lumber yard. First, you want that by trees. Rotate. I think this is fine right here. We need a road. There. So we got a road to our lumber mill, so now they can get it built. Lumber mill is going. Click on the lumber mill. Oops, there. Efficiency of buildings means good product output. Yeah. So you can see the wood going right here. Progress bar. Upgrade. So here's where you can upgrade it. So it increases efficiency, but it also increases your maintenance cost. See, and you can also plant trees. So once this starts wearing out, you can just plant more trees. So you don't have to build, keep going. You need to build a gatherer's hut, which will fulfill your residence in need of berries. You have the crescents uh, for it. You can place a construction site down in advance as the required materials come. Okay. Open the build mother. Uh, mother. Jeez. Menu. Build a hut. Okay. Right. Hut you want over here because there's berries. And I'm going to have to build a massive road to this. I want to try to get all the berries in it. All right. Now the road. Oh, I don't know if I have the money for all this. And here is the... Thing right here. Right there. Oh, I do have enough money. There we go. So we'll have some sorry sap that's going to carry all of the heavy load. Good distance. See, now you have this available. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Well, that's cool. Uh, I can't build out here, and I think there's a certain building that I have to do. I don't know if it's a tavern that will help you move further away. And the game don't look bad. It runs pretty good, too. I haven't had any issues right now. Uh, how am I doing on at 19 wood? He's going to fix that. We should be okay. Yep, yeah, there we go. Speed it up a little bit. 
All right, gather the hut. We'll gather berries, y'all. Plant seeds. So once these are gone, you can just plant more. Okay, get the hang of the basics. Gathers hut, berries, warehouse. Yep, yep, yep. That'll keep residents satisfied. Need happiness drops too low. People will not want to move in. They're still at fifty. Get the hang of this. This concludes the main part of the tutorial. We're on our own. Starting to run low on credits. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm uh, making four. I am positive in four. So. Let's make a few more houses, shall we? Yeah, uh, let's build another. Actually, build two maybe. Oh no, I don't. I don't have the money. I don't have the crescents. Okay. So that should get built. Now it shows negative right now because I'm actually cost me. I'm making four, but it costs thirty. So you just subtract it, and I got the twenty-six. Uh oh, I need a water well too. Actually, let's get that going before the next house. Twenty-three crescents. So I gotta wait a tiny bit. So I can get the forty, and then I'll build the water. 88! People are stoked! Yeah, we gotta wait. Oops. And then here's a mine. Just seeing if there's any other cool things to see here. That is a lot of trees. That is a lot of trees. Hey, right. I want to build the well next, so that's almost there. I think I can can I place it at least. Oh, oh, oh! Trade routes, exploration. Ooh, okay. I never hit that before. Lens, happiness lens. Race. They're all human. I don't know if he can be anybody else. Ploy lens. Shows where the work. Okay. Alright. Get out of there. Get the water in. I think right here. Maybe right there. Right there. Right close to everything. Right in the middle of town. I think that's the best place. Easy for everybody to get some water. Uh, 19 wood. Oh. You know, I've always missed them chopping down the tree the last time I played. Big saw blade. All right, that's done. Now we need 30 because I want to build maybe another house. I need a really I need two more houses. That's done. That's done to be able to unlock farming. So let's uh, speed everything up here. Now, I haven't noticed it goes any night day night cycle either. So maybe there isn't one. A little bit faster, guys. A little bit faster. Need 60. 60 crescent. Yeah, people are kind of happy. 69%. I'm assuming... This whole area... I can use the warehouse in. Lumber mill is here. Okay. 
Okay, same with this, this size of an area. But building, I can't build in that big of an area. I don't know, maybe there's an upgrade that increases my... There is, I don't know. Quarters. Paint, erase, delete. Polish. If you want to build, it's only in this area. So I'm wondering there has to be something. Maybe it increases it? Because I can't build out here. Oh, I got money. Build some houses. Ah, I did it again. Didn't hit shift. Alright, so I can't put anything there. Okay, so we got houses, industry, secondary items. And we got all these extra stuff that you could put in here. What do we got? Stone wall. I'm gonna make it pretty over here. How about that? Yeah. Flower garden. Uh, we'll rotate that. There. There. I put any type of tables down. Be Lamp posts. Ovens. Pond. Maybe a tavern table. There we go. Got a beautiful area over there. People can hang out in the houses. Something to uh, have a picnic at. Alright, so we can get our farm. Mysterious smell. What is that? The place has been overcome by a horrific, pungent odor. Nobody knows where it's coming from, but it's making people nauseous and angry. I can locate it for 350. Deal with it or uh, attempt to mask it. 50% chance the smell is successfully masked. Uh, ask it. I don't know if that done anything. No matter how many flowers people plant, it's not enough to mask <laughs> Oh dear. Whoops. Alright, farm is done. Unlock. And we are going to... Should we mine? Mine. Set that focus. Okay. So we got a farm. Put a farm down. Where are you under? Do all buildings farm. Well, oh, this thing is huge. Um, put it there. We need roads. Should have rotated it. Can I just delete it? There we go. Try that again. I think that'll work.
Okay, we need some roads. Okay, so we got a funky road going to the farm. Alright, how's everything looking? Oh, the berries are about gone. Oh, I only got the one. Trees, we got some left. Farms produce goods. Depends on what type of fields. So, Alright, we got a place. Place. Place? That I'll have to do. Uh, let's slow it down a little bit. Farm can only support so many fields. Alright. There we go. So. Do I have my choice? Do I have a choice of what I want to plant? No? I guess not. Ah, right, well we got some fields going. We're doing good. Oh. Plant seeds. Oh wow. Okay, what do I have? Bakery going? I need two more houses for the bakery. Alright, well, let's build some houses, I guess. No room. Okay, see, invalid terrain. Building entrance is blocked. Alright. Hey, two houses going. People are running around. I have a big open area in here. I might put some more houses right here. Maybe another road across. Maybe. But I'm in trying to get a bakery. Which I'm ready for, I guess. Or no, it's doing the mine, not the bakery. Bakery's next. All right. All right, so we got the mine. There it is. Okay, now we need a road. Okay, so we got the road to the mine. I need a population of 30 for a bakery. Seems quite a bit. All right, well, if we got to increase population, we got to get more houses in here. Do I want it this close? I think that'll work. There we go. I should have another house. Yeah, let's do one more house. That's not a house. All right, so only what twenty four? Ah, this is a lot of housing. I can't really build more over here. 
I build some over here. I don't have a road over there, though. Though, let's do this. That'll work. Only get one house in here, though. I think so. Yeah, because they take up four squares, I only got three. I know this is taking up some of the fields, but... Or maybe it's not. It might not. Um... We're going to put you over here. Now we're going to find another spot for homes. So I think over here. There we go. So we should have the homes. That should be good enough to unlock the bakery. Do I have anything in here? Yeah, I got some stone. Got some stone, got some flour, water, food, perfect. These are done, bakery's ready to go. Unlock. New houses. Mid-density peasant house. Oh, I can already do it. Let's build the bakery. Yeah, let's build the bakery. Where are you at? Bakery. I expect it to be a little bit bigger. Okay. In case I want something in the middle there. I mean, I could butt it all up and get everything super close. Bakery parts done. Let's build a windmill. Windmill is able to turn grain into the finest flour. This is going to be behind the bakery. Right? Would you beside it? Do it beside it. There we go. Now people are going to get bread. This should make them super duper happy. So they're right next to the warehouse. So they can start loading bread up here in a little bit. Got somebody just standing around over there. Okay, yep. Yeah, talking about mines. Yep. Yeah, okay. Nothing to see here. There are no active quests right now. So... Unlock that. Magic. Exploration. What's magic do? Magic wells are unlocked here. And what's a mysterious land without magic being used to its potential? Be careful though. Magical mishaps in very distant pasts caused all manner of carnage. Any 50 residents. 60 residents. Now we'll just set that. Alright, okay, so we can upgrade houses. Upgrade a house. Upgrade this house. This one has all the nice little park next to it. I hope it is a nice house. Well, that was quick. This holds two people. Oh, this holds four. Oh, I need a lot more wood. All right. That's expensive for wood. There we go. Here's our nice settlement. Beautiful settlement. Oh, okay. So we're at time. Um, I'm enjoying this. I really am. This is a, this is a fun game. Now it is just a demo. I don't know all what they're gonna add. I'm 
almost hoping they have some type of weather system. Otherwise, this is just going to be a very casual, easy game at the moment. But I know they're going to introduce other races, so maybe a lot more can happen during that. Uh, but I am going to end it here. Just like thank you all for spending some time here. If you did enjoy this, hit that like button. And if you are new here and like to see more content like this, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.